What are the next steps for Brexit? Now, we have an election coming up, correct? We do. So we've got the UK election on the 8th of June. Of course, just this week, we've had uh, President uh, Macron elected in France. And of course, uh, Angela Merkel uh, is up for re-election in September in uh, Germany. And actually, I don't think the real negotiations really get going until uh, either she is re-elected or Germany goes for a different uh, Chancellor, perhaps Martin Schulz is the next What Chancellor. is the reason for this? Prime Minister May called for this election. She did not need to call for this election, correct? She called for this election, but she wanted to have a strong personal mandate. Now, um, nobody thinks she's going to lose, though, right? She won't lose. She will drive up her majority, perhaps even to three figures. This is for a mandate for Brexit. It's a mandate for Brexit, but it's a mandate for other things as well. So, for example, at the moment, she hasn't stood on a personal manifesto, and that means the House of Lords can stop anything they want to stop. Once she's won an election on her own manifesto, they can only delay things. They can't veto things.